Hello my dear students. Today we are going to solve the exercise 5.2 from the textbook of CBSC Board NCRT Mathematics of Grade 6. So let's start. Exercise 5.2. Here this is the first question. What fraction of a clockwise revolution does the hour hand of a clock turn through when it goes from 3 to 9, 4 to 7, 7 to 10, 12 to 9, 1 to 10 and 6 to 3. This we have to find out. So for this we need a clock. Okay. Now in first they have told us that the hour hand was first on 3 and now it reached on 9. So clearly here you will understand that here it is making half of a revolution means here it is making two right angles. So the answer for A is half or we can say two right angles. Okay. Now uh, in the next they have told us that the first uh, first the R hand was on 4 and now it reached at 7. Here clearly it is making that one right angle one right angle means it is making one fourth of a revolution so the answer for b is one fourth or we can say one right angle okay now in c the first the r hand was on 7 and it reached on 10 so here also it is clearly making that one right angle or we can say one fourth of the revolution okay now in D, first it was on 12, now it reached at 9. See here, uh, uh, by mistake you can write here one right angle, but it is revolving from 12 to 9. So let's divide this in uh, four parts. So it is making three right angles. Okay, means we can write three fourth or we can say three right angles. Okay, so don't make uh, don't get confused here. Okay, so in the next point uh, E, they have told that the R hand was first on one. Now it reached on ten. So same here also we have to divide the clock in four parts and let's check. Yeah, here also it is making. 3 right angles means 3 fourth of the revolution. Okay. Now here it was on 6 and reached at 3. Same way here also we have to make 4 parts and let's check. Yes, here also it is making 3 right angles or we can say 3 fourth of the revolution. Okay. Now let's move to the second question. Second question is. Where will the hand of a clock stop if it starts at 12 and makes half of a revolution clockwise? So for this also we need a clock. Okay. Now first what they have told it starts at 12 and make half of a revolution means it will reach at 6. So the answer for A is at 6. Okay. Next, it starts at 2. Okay, so it starts at 2 and makes half of a revolution. So clearly, it will reach at 8. So the answer for B is at 8. Now for C, it starts at 5 and make one fourth of a revolution. So clearly, it will reach at 8. So uh, answer for C is at 8. Now for D, it starts at 5 again and makes 3 fourth of a revolution. So it will reach at 2. So the answer for D is at 2. Okay. Now let's move to the third question. Which direction will you face if you start facing at east and make half of a revolution clockwise? Now for this we need direction map. So here it is the direction map. So see here this one is east, west, north and south. Okay. Now what they have told if we face at east and make half of a revolution clockwise. See here first you need to understand that clockwise means it will start from like this way. And if it is anti-clockwise then it will lie like this way. Okay. 
so they have told us clockwise so east and make half of a revolution so first we were facing at east and we made half of a revolution so clearly it will give you the answer as waist means we will face at waist okay now in the second part they have told us that we are facing again at east only and we will make one and half of a revolution so means we will make one full revolution and then half of a revolution so we start from east see again we are facing at waist okay so the answer for b is waist now in c we are facing at waist okay and make three fourth of a revolution anti clockwise now we should not move like this way we should move like this way okay so we were first at waist and we made three fourth of the revolution so we reached at north okay so the answer for c is north now in d south and make one full revolution so first we were facing at south and we made one full revolution so we reached again at south only but they have given something in bracket that is should we specify clockwise or anti clockwise for this last question why not so for this we will give you the answer afterwards first we will check if we move anti clockwise where we will reach see ya if we move from anti clockwise then also we will reach at south only so the answer for d is south now let's check what is the question should we specify clockwise or anti clockwise for this last question no need because to no need to specify that clockwise and anti clockwise because one full revolution will bring us back to the original position see we started from south and we reached again south even though if we go clockwise or anti clockwise okay now let's move to the next question that is fourth one what part of a revolution have you turned through if you stand facing east and turn clockwise to face north now here again we need a direction map okay so what they have told we are facing at east and turn clockwise to face north so from east to north okay what they have given the question what part of a revolution have you turned so we made Three fourth of the revolution because see here it is clearly divided into four parts and we are making three parts. So the answer for this question is three fourth. Okay. Now in B we are facing at south and turn clockwise to face east. Okay. From south we have to reach at east. So here also we are making three fourth of the revolution. Okay. Now in C we are starting from waist and turn clockwise to face east from waist to east here clearly we are making half of the revolution okay so let's move to the next now that is fifth one find the number of right angles turned through by the hour hand of a clock when it goes from this to this okay so for this we need clock now what they have told the hour hand uh, find the number of right angles turned through by the hour hand of a clock when it grows from 3 now first it was on 3 and it reached at 6 clearly it is making one right angle so the answer for this question is one right angle okay now uh it was on 2 okay and it reached at 8 now here it is making half of the clock right therefore we can say two right angles next 5 to 11 so first it was on 5 next it reached at 11 clearly here as it is making half of the revolution means two right angles see here why i am telling two right angles see here because were 290 degrees when we add up we are getting 180 and 180 is the half of the revolution okay now in d first it was on 
okay and it reached at 1 so here clearly it is making one fourth of the revolution means one right angle okay now in e first it was on 12 and it reached at 9 now here it is making like this way revolution so clearly it is making three right angles so the answer for e is three right angles now here it was first on 12 and it reached at 6 clearly here a half of revolution means two right angles okay so now let's move to the sixth question how many right angles do you make if you start facing south and turn clockwise to west so for this we need direction map okay and what they have told how many right angles do you make if you start facing from south and turn clockwise to west okay from south to west so here clearly i am making here one right angle right so the answer for this is one right angle now here we we are start we faced first on north and we turn anti clockwise to east from north to anti clockwise to east so clearly here i am making three right angles so the answer for b is three right angles okay now in c i was first west, uh, facing at west and turn to west from west to west here clearly i am making four right angles okay now in d from south and turn to north south to north here clearly two right angles okay so the answer of six is in here now let's move to the next question that is seventh one okay where will the hour hand of a clock stop if it starts from okay so for this we need clock okay what they have told um where will the hour hand of a clock stop if it starts from six first it was on six and we have to turn through one right angle okay so one right angle will reach the hour hand at nine so the answer for a is at nine okay now uh, it was first on eight and turns through two right angles means it will reach at two okay so the answer for b is two now in c from 10 okay first it was on 10 and turns through three right angles so clearly it will reach at seven okay so the answer for c is at seven now in d from seven okay so it was from seven and turns through two straight angles listen here there are two straight angles not two right angles so two straight angles means four right angles okay it will reach again at seven only okay so the answer for d is at seven here the exercise 5.2 will get n if you like my teaching then please like share and subscribe to my channel if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment box so i will clear it and bye everyone